Conventionally, the intensity of a tornado in Japan is rated on the F scale or the Fujita scale. Now, this was actually developed in the U.S. and it's based on how much damage a tornado creates, not particularly the wind speed, but how much damage that has resulted from a tornado. So if you see a video of people saying, oh, it's an EF3 or an EF4, and they're just looking at a video of a tornado, that's not entirely accurate. And one other thing is despite the scale being created by Ted Fujita, a Japanese citizen, he made it in the US. So it's really based for the infrastructure in the US and Canada, not so much for Japan or the rest of the world for that matter. That is why a committee actually recently was established to create a Japan enhanced Fujita scale. Now this was developed particularly in recent years after numerous tornadoes were seen across much of Japan. Some of them being rather destructive and one even being rated up towards of the F4 intensity. Now during their study period this committee actually looked at 215 separate events of tornadoes and the damage that they caused and did some pretty intense math. I'll put more information down in the link below, but the explanations that they came out looks kind of like this for the Japan Enhanced Fujita Scale. Uh, this is the mandatory scale used now in Japan and there is quite a lot of tornadoes, especially around tropical season. So it's gonna be definitely very useful in years to come. Now on another note though, I think this is something more countries should look into. For example, in the Philippines, more tornadoes are being seen thanks to social media. And I think an enhanced scale, particularly for the infrastructure based in the Philippines, would be very useful since it's definitely vastly different than that in the U.S. Where in the U.S., a tornado causing an F1 amount of damage might be an F2 or an F3 in the Philippines. Overall, I think that this whole topic is actually some pretty interesting stuff. It's about tornadoes, and definitely any weather geek would be rather interested. So I'm going to put the link to the award-winning paper from the American Meteorological Society down in the link below. Lots of information there and you can go ahead and check it out, especially for anybody who is uh, visiting Japan or wants to know more about weather in Japan and the Western Pacific for that matter. But if you have any questions or uh, comments, please let me know down in the comment section down below. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter and Facebook at Robert Spetta if you have any suggestions for any other videos I could do for weather and meteorology for that matter. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. And as always, stay safe out there.